LeBron James is not the LeBron of old this season. I don't care what the numbers say. Statistically, one of his best seasons. But the eye test just doesn't reflect that. If your star player puts up 27 points, 9 rebounds, and 8 assists a game, you expect to make the playoffs. Year one of the Lakers experience with LeBron James likely will result in the Lakers not making the playoffs for the fifth straight year. Obviously, his eight-year run personally of making the finals is over and now the offseason of questions begins here's the first question how was lebron able to carry a depleted cleveland cavalier team to not only the playoffs but to the nba finals but not a young talented lakers team is it because the eastern conference is just not as good as the western conference did LeBron this season put up a lot of meaningless stats? Is he still making guys around him better? A trait that we've accredited King James at an all-time level throughout his career. Did he not have a great command over the locker room this season? We got Rajon Rondo sitting on the end of the bench. And it looks like guys are starting to quit on this team. How does this Lakers organization look at this season? How does LeBron look at this season? A season that saw his first major injury and forced him to miss 20 games. Do you look at this season as overrated for King James or underrated when you put in all the variables of what LeBron had to deal with in his first season on the West Coast? Yeah, this is an overrated season for LeBron James. I don't care what those numbers say. 27, nine and eight, great. We'll give him uh, some points for doing it in year 16 with the amount of mileage he's had on his body. Obviously, you give LeBron that respect in that regard. This is It's not easy what he's doing night in and night out. But compared to his standard, if you just sit down and watch the games, you can look and see, nah, he's settling for too many jumpers. He's really not committed to defense. His body language is a little off. You got Kyle Kuzma thinking it's cool to push LeBron into an imposing team's player to make him defend. That shouldn't be happening to somebody known as the best player in the game. Steve Kerr would never do that to Michael Jordan. Scottie Pippen would never to Michael Jordan because you know night in and night out, Michael Jordan's gonna give it to you. He's gonna give you that effort. Robert Ory would never push the great Kobe Bryant. Pal Gasol would never push Kobe into an imposing team's player because you didn't have to. You knew night in and night out, the guy that's sweating the most is number 24, number 23. Right, And this number 23, I don't believe his teammates believe he's sweating the most. A lot of what LeBron has been critical of his teammates this season, he's been someone who's done it, right? Not playing a lot of defense. But most of the year, LeBron hasn't played great defense. He's kind of been stuck in the passing lanes. Getting to the rim. LeBron has been settling for that jump shot a little bit too much this year. That speaks about Will. Focus level. I mean, LeBron has announced so many movie projects. It is literally... Ridiculous. I literally can't keep up with it. I think if you ask LeBron himself, he'd tell you, yeah, this is an overrated season. This is one of one of my best. This will be the this will be the forgotten season in LeBron's career. Coming after eight straight NBA Finals appearances. It was bound to happen with this young talent and these older guys kind of clashing. Then you got the best player in the game coming in right in the middle of that. Yeah, it, this will go down as probably LeBron's season that he forget. And he might have lost his best player in the world title this season so you got to throw the overrated tag on it again a guy at his age with the amount of mileage on his body able to go get you 27 9 or 8 you big it up but in comparison to his career from an impact standpoint definitely an overrated season for king james i want to salute you homie you know for for building your own thing and doing your own thing creating your own platform your own website I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah!